In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you the Believe Christmas template for white box photography, how to customize it and how to use it. So we can end up with a final image similar to this. So I've already gone ahead and opened up the template. Uh, it comes as a Photoshop file, a PSD file. And on the right hand side, under the layers menu is where all the customization uh, basically happens. We've got uh, three different colors and also we can use a snow layer um, on or off. So starting at the very top under the snow folder, it's uh, basically just on or off. You can use the visibility here to turn it on or off. Uh, it's all your preference. Uh, I usually leave that off until, until the end. It makes e editing easier, especially if you use uh, auto select layers a lot typically end up clicking on that quite a bit. So the next one here is under the folder background color. Um, you've got three different colors. You simply turn each one on or off. So we can go with the green. And then finally down here, it says your images under here, uh, as well as the last layer is the background uh, layer. So it says your images above here. So I'll give you a quick idea on how to edit uh, using this. So I'm just gonna go find a few images for me to use. And uh, I'm gonna use something that is fairly quick. So here's a, here's a good example of one. I'll use my marquee tool use the move and bring it up into my folder. Now obviously it's uh, it's quite big and I'm going to drag it down into the folder that says your image is under here and I'm going to use the transform tool to go ahead and fit it to my template. Shrink this down And with all my edits, I usually start in the top left corner and get it lined up before I adjust the final size and get it to fit. <clears throat> now, if you need help with basic edits on how to do uh, basically what I just did there, there's a video that I do a full nine box and walk you through it. Um, but I just wanted to give you an idea how to work with this template. So you would go ahead and add your other two images the same way, um, sliding them into this folder. And, uh, and then if you would like, once you're done, you can turn the snow layer on. And if the snow layer is covering up your subject uh, in your images and you find it distracting from you know, your, your final, you know, your final image, then use the layer mask, which is the white box beside the, uh, the black box on the snow layer. So we just click on it and that's actually a layer mask. So using the brush tool, so B brings up your brush. Um, you can simply use a black brush and while clicked on that white layer mask, you can simply go over, um, my, the flow on my brush was a little low, so it needs to be 100%. So you can simply go over top of any spots that you want to remove the snow from. So just for effect, I'm going to do the whole stocking and all of her. Um, actually, I'll do, why not just do the whole box, just to show you how this works. And there you have it, I've taken all that snow away. Now, if you've overdone it, use a white brush and simply paint back in the snow where you wanna paint it back in. I like it to be consistent throughout the whole image. I typically only mask off using the black brush from their faces, just so that it's, uh, their faces are sharp. So 
That's how to use the Believe Christmas template for white box photography. Check out my other videos if you have questions on basic edits, getting your, your files ready for Photoshop, and that sort of thing.